Roseanne and the Diamond of Asher. Tarzan is in charge of an expedition searching for the lost scientist, Brian Gregory. In the party are Gregory's sister, Helen, his father, the mysterious Magra, and two white hunters, Wolf and Larson, and Tarzan's friend, Lieutenant Darno. Atan Tom and Lal Task believe Tarzan to be Brian Gregory, and that he has a map showing the location of the forbidden city of Asher. They are following the expedition, determined to get the map at any cost. Tarzan discovers Wolf and Magra plotting and learns definitely that the German is in Tom's pay. Magra has strayed from the line of march and is attacked by a lion. At Numa's earth-shaking roar, Tarzan leaps upward, grasps the trailing vine, and flashes through the branches with breathtaking speed toward Magra. In full swing, Tarzan drops like a hurled spear upon the back of the charging lion. One mighty arm encircles the great throat. vice like legs, stony flanks. The arm tightens. Half-strangled, Numa tries desperately to shake off the man thing clinging to his back. Then, behind the shoulder, deep into the great heart, the ape man sinks. Once. Twice. Tarzan! Tarzan! All right, Magra. It's all over. My God! What are you... Who are you? I am Tarzan of the Apes. You... You killed a lion. The knife. I can hardly believe my own eyes. Are you convinced now that I am not Brian Gregory? I don't know what to think. Tarzan of the Apes? Sacré Tarzan, a big one, eh? Huh? Ah, mon vieux, you are more than ever astounding. I don't know. Magra, thank God you're safe. Great Scott, what happened? Oh, I'm caught this feeling. Did, did Tarzan kill that lion? By gee, and, and that terrible yell? Numa attacked Magra. I killed him, that's all. That's all? That's enough? You killed a full-grown lion with a knife? Yes, Wolf, with nothing but a knife. He never saw anything like it. And that scream, he have heard it before, somewhere. What did it? It was Tarzan. That inhuman shriek came from Tarzan? Yes, from Tarzan. Now, never mind that now. The important thing for you all to understand is that you must never want off into the jungle alone. Does that mean me and Larsen too? Yes, hmm. unless you have a good reason for going. Well, I guess we've been in the jungle long enough to use our own judgment. But you, Mademoiselle Elaine and Monsieur Gregory, have seen what almost happened to Magra. It should be warning enough. Hmm, don't worry, Lieutenant. I'm cured. And that goes for me. My interest in lions ends right here. That yell Tarzan gave? I wish I could remember. Tarzan! Wanda! Black boy, no good. By Asana. Maski Kidogo. Maski Kidogo Shenzi. Larson, back to your post. You too, Wolf. Yeah, I'm going. Come on, Larson. Yes, sure. What is it, Dono? Trouble? Well, the head boy reported that the bearers were becoming restless. It isn't anything... Serious? Mais non, mademoiselle. Simply that, without a leader, the natives are like, like sheep. We'd better all go back. Come on. Are you over your fright, Margaret? Oh, yes, almost. And Tarzan, how can I ever thank you for... Never mind, Margaret. 
Just remember to stay with the safari hereafter. But Tarzan, let the others go ahead. I wish to speak. What is it? A moment ago you called yourself Tarzan of the Apes. Yes. What do you mean by of the apes? I mean I am... But what difference does it make? To you and the others, I am Tarzan. Yes. I know now that you are not Brian Gregory. I told you that at the hotel in Longo. I did not believe you then. I am sorry. But the resemblance is so remarkable, even to the scar on your forehead. I told you and Tom how I got it. Yes, I remember. In a fight with a gorilla. Is that true? I have said so. Is that not enough? Yes, Tarzan. Magra, I want you to answer some questions. Will you? Yes, if I can. How long has it been since you have seen Brian Gregory? It was about a year ago. Where? In Luango. Well, go on. What was he doing? He was preparing to go into the jungle in search of talking apes. You and Tom went with him? Yes, and Laltak. Where did you go? Up near to Mbaka. The natives call it the Mountain of Sunrise. Were Tom and Gregory partners in that expedition? No, Brian wanted us to go because... because Atan Tom had been in that region once before. Did you find the talking apes? No. Or the city of our share and the father of diamonds? The father of... I, uh, I know so little of our share and the diamond Tarzan. Atan Tom did not take me into his confidence. Did Brian Gregory? Brian Gregory? No. We left the expedition soon after he was lost. Were you near Tuenbaka, this mountain of sunrise, when he disappeared? Atan Tom said we were within three days' trek of the mountain. And this map Tom offered me 20,000 pounds for. Do you know anything about that? Oh, uh, oh, see there, Tarzan. I think Kellen and Lieutenant Dano are looking for us. Come, we must hurry. Oh. All right, Margaret. We'll join them. Meanwhile, growling sullenly at his handful of natives, Wolf strides along at the end of the column. His short, heavy black snake whip lashes out savvy at the underbrush beside the path opened by Larson's trail cutters. As the German lunges heavily past a thick clump of acacia trees, which conceals him for the moment from the rearmost of the bearers, a man steps into the trail from behind the trees. Ah, Laltask. So you fellas are on the trail, huh? Yes. I left Bunga at once upon landing. Atantom is coming up with a small safari. We are traveling light to make speed. Well, you have it easy, falling in our trail. We've got all the road cutting to do. It slows us up. That is what Atantom counted upon. Now, what have you done about the map? Nothing. And Magra, is she making progress? Also nothing. Tom is a fool to trust a woman with that job. <laughs> She's playing up to Tarzan, uh, young Greg here, if that's who he is. In that, she is obeying Atan Tom's orders. Who has the map? Gregory? No, and his daughter. Uh, where does she sleep? With Magra. Uh, they are tent mates. Which should make it easy for Magra. Tell her that a tanto expects quick results. Quick results? <laughs> With diplomacy, huh? Well, if I was doing it, I would have that map by morning. A tanto trusts Magra. I would also use other methods. <laughs> but give Magra a chance. If she fails... Good, I understand. Now, I must catch up with the natives. If they miss me, and tell Tarzan. <laughs> you fear him, my friend? Do you fear lions? No, but I leave them alone. Mm, then leave Tarzan alone. He kills them with nothing but a knife. The long day's trek is over. The Tarzan Gregory party is in camp. The evening meal is finished. During a momentary lull in the general conversation, the awakening nightlife of the jungle chants its age-old song of hunt and kill. Each member of the group is wrapped in silent thought. Larson, puffing slowly at his pipe, stares thoughtfully into the glowing embers of the campfire. His slow-moving brain seems to be wrestling with a weighty problem. What is it, Larson, my friend? 
You have said nothing all evening. Eh, yeah, Ben, thinking about Tarzan. What about me, Larson? I suppose Mr. Larson's thinking about how you killed that lion today. They wasn't thinking about that. The most surprising thing to me is where Tarzan learned it. No, that ain't it either. Well, I thought I knew the jungle and the animals. But Tarzan begins where I leave off. A man who kills lions with a knife and climbs trees like an ape. An ape? Hey, golly, Dutchman, that's it. Now I remember that yell you heard today is the kill call of the bull ape. What? The bull apes? Why? Well, what do you mean? And he said, Tarzan of the apes. Yeah, yeah, I have seen those big fellas, but I, I have never heard that cry. Where did you hear it, Larson? In the Mooney River country. They was down there after Ivory. Ah, je comprends. In the clearing which we came to, we saw two bull apes fighting. That was a sight. It was the most vicious battle I ever saw. Finally, one of them killed the other, put his foot on his chest, and gave that same yell heard this afternoon from Tarzan. How did you learn the call, Tarzan? Have you forgotten the conversation at Loango, Monsieur Gregory, when Tarzan told you that his foster mother was a native of Africa? I remember. And he said the name Tarzan meant white skin in the language of a certain tribe. I think the lieutenant knows more than he cares to tell. Well, Tarzan? Why not? You may explain if they are interested. I'm going over to talk with the headman. Oh, tell us, lieutenant. His foster mother was a she-ape. She was the only mother he ever knew. You mean... He was raised by a she-ape? That is why he calls himself Tarzan of the Apes. Oui, mother. It is a long histoire, a, a long story, mes amis, but I shall make it as brief as possible. Tarzan's father and mother were Lord and Lady Greystoke. They were marooned on a lonely bit of African coast. The great apes killed Tarzan's parents. Then Kayla, a she-ape, saved the baby and gave it the name of Tarzan, which means white skin. Then the great she-ape carried him away. Why? Why, that's almost incredible. Nevertheless, it is true. This mother ape raised Tarzan, protected him, and finally gave her life in his defense. If we, he had to fend for himself. At first, every beast was his enemy. But the animal instinct of self-preservation taught him quickly to cope with the jungle. Mm, no wonder he knows the jungle like no one else. Then, later, of Wait, course... Wait, Donald, listen. What is it? It sounds like distant thunder. I'm God! It's elephants! They're stampeding! Yeah, and nothing can stop them! Nine, nine, but we can try! Get a gun, everybody! And make for those big trees! Those fellas are heading straight for us!